Sorry, Jason, may I ask one question quickly? Go ahead, Stefan. Um, so you've got the void consent, physical um, contact in claimant's body underlined. Mm -hmm. um, how would you know, how do you differentiate between which parts to underline um, and which parts to leave as they are? Obviously, it's performance and Vasilis and command and claimant remain um, just on the page and not underlined. The way I use the bottom line is if like a platform that allows it like Microsoft Word or me physically writing it on the board, if I have a compound fact, two, fact, two or more facts joined together by hyphens, I will underline that. Okay. And I'm glad you mentioned that because now I'm going to go into the correct writing of the name and how you would use the bottom line for that so that it does not interfere with the positional sequencing in the correct sentence structure concatenation. Yeah, thank you. So, okay, so we have the adjective, adjective, pronoun, name. And what I mean by adjective, adjective, pronoun is these are all tangible contract words, they're names. And if you have one tangible contract word followed by another tangible contract word, those are going to be adjectives, verbs, or pronouns. But in this case, they're going to be adjective, adjective, pronoun. Jason is an adjective, coloring Matthew into an adjective, which is coloring glass into a pronoun. So the way to write that with correct sentence structure would be you have to position each fact. I turn correct Jason hyphen Matthew into a compound fact. Jason hyphen Matthew of the glass. And then to punctuate it, which would say the exact same thing as that would be this. And then I would underline that. So when you syntax this, for the Jason Hyphen Matthew of the glass, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, period. It's not a sentence. There's no verb in it. It's a title. It's a name. This colon, which is tied up against the J, there is no space, represents for the. The position lodial phrase for the. And then using the positional sequencing and concatenation, the following colon would represent of the. For the Jason hyphen Matthew of the glass, colon Jason hyphen Matthew glass. This, because I've underlined Jason hyphen Matthew colon space glass, is to be taken as one entire entity. And I'll show you what I mean in this sentence right here. So I have for the claim of the correct name is with the Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass by the writ. Now, you know what that means, right? You know what I'm trying to convey. However, this can be misconstrued because if you literally read it out loud for the claim of the correct name is with the Jason hyphen Matthew of the glass by the writ, of the glass by the writ. That breaks the mathematical interface. That is not correct. You can't have an of the in front of a by the. So to correct that, I put in my dictionary 
I use the underline or bottom line. The things that are bottom lined are to be taken as a whole. So now for the claim 567 of the correct name, 567 is two with the Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass. That is a seven. This entire underlined entity is a seven. And now it doesn't interfere with the four of with and by. Does that make sense? So may I? Yes, sir. Uh, so it would mean that um, it stopped meaning of the, 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 the hyphen. The, when, when you underline it, 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 stopped, the, it stopped to mean the, um, of the glass. It takes this position lodial phrase out of the concatenation because it's part of this as a whole. This, maybe if I put the numbers up there, it'll be easier to see. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you, you would never underline a for the or of the, uh, that are not facts. Or, well, or... I did. I did underline it right there. This colon represents of the. See? Yeah, I got it. So, so you, can, you can underline a, a, um, a position and lodial to make it a, a fact. To make it part I mean, of your I mean, fact. Uh, yes, you can. To make, to make it, it a, a part of your fact. Yep. See, okay, thanks. that whole thing is a seven. That's a pretty poor ass seven. Okay, there's a seven. If I wouldn't have underlined it, you would have had to have assumed that that's what I meant. But when I underline it, now you know that's what I mean. And that's the whole thing, again, about having a dictionary and a styles manual of your own, where you give closure to what a hyphen is, what the bottom line is, what the colon represents, what a writ is, what a comma does. Everything must be given closure to in your dictionary, in your correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, dictionary, which would govern your construct and all of your contracts. Because each finite meaning that you give to a word, like writ, would have to carry across all of your correct sentence structure contracts. You can't have writ, okay, you can't have writ mean something here and then have it mean something different in a different contract. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, Contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis over 500 direct set structure videos for you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.